Hello again. In this lesson, we will learn how to count money when you have more than one kind of coin. You already know how to count pennies by ones, how to count nickels by fives, how to count dimes by tens, and quarters by twenty-five. But do you know what to do when you have a group of mixed coins like this? Well, there are three steps you should follow in order to count mixed coins. First, you should sort the coins. Put the pennies together, the nickels together, the dimes together, and the quarters together. Next, start counting coins that are worth the most. That means count quarters first, then dimes, then nickels, then pennies. Finally, remember that when you change coins, you have to change the way you count. Let's see how we would count these coins. First, we'll sort the coins. Now we can easily see that we have two nickels and five pennies. To find out how much money we have, we will start by counting the nickels because they are the coins that are worth the most in this group of coins. Ready to count the nickels? Five, ten. Now we have no more nickels. To continue counting, we'll be counting the pennies, so we must change the way we're counting. Instead of counting by fives, we will continue by counting by ones. So far we have ten cents. Now eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen cents. Great. Now let's try another one. Here's another group of mixed coins. Our first step is to sort the coins into like groups. Now we can see we have three nickels and five pennies. Let's count how much money we have. Remember, we're going to start with the nickels. Let's go. Five, ten, fifteen. Now we have to change how we're counting. After fifteen, we have sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty cents. Let's try some other coins. First, sort them. Which coins will we count first? Exactly. We will begin counting the dimes by tens. Then we'll continue counting the pennies by ones. Let's see how much money is here. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53. We have 53 cents. Let's try one more. This time, we'll count a harder group of mixed coins. This group has three kinds of coins, dimes, nickels, and pennies. As always, we begin by sorting the coins. We have three dimes, three nickels, and three pennies. Now let's find out how much money we have. Which coins will we count first? Yes, the dimes. Then we'll count the nickels. And finally, we will count the pennies. Remember, we always count coins from the ones worth the most to the one worth the least. 10, 20, 30. Start counting by fives now. 35, 40, 45. Start counting by ones. 46, 47, 48, 48 cents. Three dimes, three nickels, and three pennies are worth 48 cents. 
That one was much harder to count, wasn't it? Next time, we'll count mixed coins using all four kinds of coins. In the meantime, keep practicing counting mixed groups of pennies, nickels, and dimes. Remember to use the three steps to help you count. First, sort the coins. Start with the coins that are worth the most. Change the way you count when you change coins. See you next time.